Okay. I'm going to try this one again. Um, this one, as you can see, is a one dimensional uh, problem using the columbic force, which we talked about in the previous example. And in this case, we're trying to figure out where to place this negative charge where the resultant force is zero. Now, going back to uh, physics one, what that means is that all the forces on it equal to zero, zero, it's a zero, where the net force on this equals zero, I mean it's not going to accelerate, or uh, it's another way to say Newton's first law of motion. So that's how I say Newton's first law of motion. Also, you notice that the diagram is already uh, made for us right here, and such that position of Q2 is actually at the origin. Okay, so this is our 0, 0. So in this case, x equals 0 since we're not concerned with y. And so that being the case, they define the distance between Q2 and Q3 as x. And since uh, total distance of between Q1 and Q2 is 2, then the remaining is 2.0 minus x. That's actually one way to set it up and turn if you're especially expecting uh, to use a system of equations. If you remember your algebra. Okay, look that up. So let's see what we're given. Okay. We're given that Q1 is 15 microcoulombs and that it is actually 2.0 meters away. And we're given that uh, Q2 is 6 microcoulombs and it is actually at the origin. Take note, sig figs. So when we have micro, take note that micro times 10 to the negative six. Okay. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the position of x3 such that um, the force on it equals to zero between the electric fields of these two charges. They're not equal, so we're not expecting that to be equal. Uh, which one has a greater charge? Q1 has a greater charge, so, and Q2 is less. We're actually, this looks about right. We're expecting that Q3 is actually closer to Q2 than Q1. Let's see if that would be right. Erase that, I don't need to do that. Okay, let's see what formulas we need. One that we've already used before. We actually only need one formula. And I am going to, instead of Q1 and Q2, I recall in class, since we already have Q1, Q2, for, to avoid confusion, don't want to be confused, I use QA and QB. But that won't matter in a little bit. Okay, let's go for our solution. My shortcut. Now take note, um, just by looking at our diagram here again, we're back here. Whoops. Um, by sheer fact that F2, 3, this is the force uh, coming from a force of on Q3 by charge Q2 is going to the left. So this would make it negativo. And the force of 
on Q3 by Q1 is positive. Okay. There we go. It's just that sign convention there. So what we're given from the diagram basically, we know that all the forces are supposed to be equal to zero. And this is the force of two on three on two and it's negative plus the force of three by one and that's equal to zero. Okay? So at this point I can just take that and then I am going to move that to the other side by adding F23 to both sides. Don't be confused by the nomenclature. That cancels out. So pretty much what I have here is okay. And so I can start filling this out based on our equation right here. You notice that we're not given the value of Q3 and I didn't even mention the what KE means. Now it equals 8.99 uh, times 10 to the 9 something but we won't even need that as you'll see in a little bit. Absolute value now the reason we're using absolute value not taking into account their their signs because we already did so right here so rule of thumb is that when you're doing these sorts of problems you take care of the signs first and just use the absolute values in your actual problem okay a little aside there okay and actually this is Because here, the distance is x, and that is 2 minus x. And that's squared. And immediately you can see, or you should be able to see, that both sides have QE, uh, Q3 the same and KE the same. So if I took this and I divided everything by KE and Q3 as long as they're not equal to zero boom gone 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 there what it does it simplifies the problem tremendously and so we're gonna get Let's ignore the significant figures for now. Okay. And Q2. Oh, wait. Is the smaller one. Q1, okay, I ignored significant figures here for now, just take note that you'll need it later again. Oh, the units actually go away too. So it's cross multiply, and we're going to have to use a quadratic equation here. Okay, actually divide both sides by 3, simplify a little bit more. Okay. Then foiling this out. That wasn't my phone. Okay, or let me take.
I'm going to shortcut a little bit. You should know how to foil and then distribute the two. So all three of those we get So we'll definitely have to use quadratic equation. Then subtract 5x squared on both sides. That cancels out. And then what I get, I'm just going to write it down here on the next page. Minus 3x squared equals 0. So another way to write this out, right over here, I can write 3x squared minus 8x plus 8 x equals 0. And I like it this way because I can identify easily, quite easily, what is my a, b, and c terms, or factors. So when I use it, And the quadratic formula, don't forget your quadratic formula. All your basic math is still retained. And take note, you get two answers, right? It's going to be negative 8. It's going to be a plus. Um, this is going to be actually a 64. Or negative 3, positive 8 over 2, negative 3. So I'm just going to split up the two answers. So when it's negative and when it's not. And remember which one you have to, you can only take one answer. And if you recall, the one that you take is the one that's positive because we're looking for, um, this is actually correct, we're looking for x in terms of distance. So we're looking for something, oops, wrong color, in terms of meters. And sure enough, if you find the x negative, this one actually is the positive one. Okay? And the other answer is the negative one. Actually, I even stopped there, two sig figs. And sure enough, negative distance doesn't make sense in this case and we are going to choose positive one sure enough this is our answer okay so check it out uh, rewind the video if you need help don't forget your basic algebra there and then um, hope you all enjoyed bye